بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم رمضان from amongst its fawaid or benefits is that it is also a means or one of the reasons to go to Jannah to go to paradise عن أبي عن جابر بن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه عن جابر رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رجل سأل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله أرأيت أرأيت إذا صليت المكتوبات وصمت رمضان وحلت الحلال وحرمت الحرام ولم أزد على ذلك شيء أدخل الجنة فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم نعم رواه مسلم in this hadith that was collected in Sahih Muslim on Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said that a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this question and he said O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if a person prays the five daily prayers and fasts the month of Ramadan and makes the halal halal meaning that they abide by the halal the lawful things and they treat the haram as haram the unlawful things as unlawful and they don't do anything other than that anything extra besides that will they enter paradise the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said nam he said yes salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi letting us know that ramadan is one of the uh Asbab or reasons a person enters paradise as well by fasting the month of Ramadan But of course that means fasting and doing these actions not just doing them just doing the actions Without any purpose without intention without the uh, Following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but rather perfecting these actions and striving our best to do our best with regards to fasting with regards to prayer making proper wudu striving to follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fasting with the intention avoiding the muharramat not just having a dry mouth and an empty stomach but rather fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala avoiding the muharramat avoiding the places where you're going to encounter the muharramat and looking at the muharramat and so forth trying to perfect our ibadah then we can be of those who enter Jannah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.